Hello students, Mrs. Van Sickle here with an introduction of how we introduce text evidence in writing. It's important to be able to introduce text evidence effectively so that your reader has context or an understanding of the situation that you are about to explain. So we see an example here. The process we're using is ICES. I-C-E-S, I stands for introduce, C stands for cite, and E stands for explaining or elaborating your text evidence, and S is summarizing your information. So we are actually only going to focus on the I and the C of ICE in this example. The introduction and the citing of the text evidence. So we have some text here. In the poetic ballad, Casey at the Bat by Ernest Lawrence Thayer, Casey says, that's not my style. This I and C introduction and citation needs help. We have no frame of reference as to what this cited text evidence actually means. So we use an acronym called SLOP, S-L-O-P. The S stands for speaker. So in your text evidence, who is actually speaking? Is it the narrator? Is it another character? And sometimes it's not even actual speaking. Sometimes it's a character just thinking to himself or to herself or themselves. Next, we have to identify the listener. Who is listening to the speaker? Is it another character in the story? Is the speaker speaking to themselves? Or is it a narrator speaking to the reader or the audience? And last but not least, and this is what is most important, this gives us the greatest frame of reference. Where in the text does the story or the cited text evidence take place. We call this the occurrence in the text. Therefore, S-L-O-T is how we remember what we need to remember to cite text evidence. So where in the story, what is happening right around the story that leads up to that cited text evidence? So in this example, we don't have any of that. We have no speaker, we have no listener identified, and we certainly don't have any occurrence in the text identified either. But if we take a look at this example, we see in the poetic ballad, Casey at the Bat by Ernest, Ernest Lawrence Thayer, and in green, we have identification of the speaker. The main character, Casey, refuses to swing at a strike across the plate and demonstrates his arrogance as he exclaims. And then we have identification of who he is talking to. He's talking to the crowd of fans. And last but most certainly not least, where in the text in that whole poem is this happening. In the ninth inning of a very tense baseball game, that's not my style. So we have a much clearer picture of why this text evidence has been selected simply by understanding who the speaker is, the listener is, and the occurrence in the text. Later up, explaining and elaborating text evidence.